Hello and welcome to the city of Madara. Madaba is 30 kilometers south of Amman and 25 kilometers from Queen Alia International Airport. This small town is a good base to start and end your trip in Jordan and can be easily explored on foot. Maryam Hotel is located in a quiet residential area, only 800 meters to the city center. From the left-hand side of the hotel's main entrance, walk to the end of Aisha Umm al muminin Street. You will get to Al-Quds Street, turn right and walk 50 meters to arrive at Al-Muhafadha Circle. Between Al-Muhafadha Circle and the Municipality Circle, you will find a variety of shops including a grocery, a bakery and a pharmacy. If you are after authentic sweets or a mobile phone, a few falafels or a shawarma, look no further. The city center starts when you get to the municipality circle. All banks in town are located in this area. They are open from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and are closed on Fridays and Saturdays. There is no difference of currency exchange rate between banks and exchange shops. And there is also no currency black market in Jordan. ATMs are just about everywhere in the city center, but you need to be aware that during holidays and weekends they may be out of service. The most famous spot in the city center is St. George's Church, also known as the Church of the Map. It was built in 1896 and it is famous for its floor consisting of a mosaic map that dates back to the Byzantine era. The map shows the Holy Land from Lebanon to Egypt. It also shows the Jordan River and the Dead Sea, and it focuses on the old city of Jerusalem. Opening hours are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., except for Sundays, when it is open from 10.30 a.m. The old part of the city starts from the church of the map towards the King Talal Street. This area is called the Souq. It is a beautiful and lively display of local everyday life. At the end of King Talal Street is Al Saraya, one of many Ottoman buildings in town built in 1896. Most of these buildings have been built at the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. Al Saraya was used as the main police station but was recently renovated and will be soon open to visitors. Only a few meters from Al Saraya is the Latin Catholic Church Shrine of the Beheading of St. John the Baptist. This old church was built in 1894 using the old stones of Madaba's citadel by Father Manfredi and the first Christian families who came from Karak in 1882. There is an exhibition of old photos of the city and its people that were taken between 1902 and 1911. The old citadel's rooms under the church have recently been opened for visitors. You can see there an old Mu'abit's dog that is about 3,000 years old. You can also ask the priest for the permission to go to the top of the tower where you can enjoy a magnificent view of the city. Also, make sure you leave some time to look at the paintings inside the church. Down the street from here, you will get to the Madaba Museum, known as Al Tual House. The main attraction of this museum is the collection of mosaic collages, some of which are in excellent condition. One of the most interesting sections in the museum is the folk exhibition. There is also a large room hosting a collection of pottery and glassware, dating back to the Hellenistic, Roman, Byzantine and Islamic periods.
Furthermore, on your way to the Church of Apostles, you walk by Beit Alamat, built between 1913 and 1920. It is a very impressive building that, unlike the others, stands alone. You then go down the street to Church of the Apostles, which is located at the edge of the city. The Church of the Apostles contains a remarkable mosaic dedicated to the Twelve Apostles. The embroidery-like mosaic was created in 568 AD and is one of the few instances where the mosaicist, Salomios, has signed the work. The central portion shows Thalassa, a woman who represents the sea, surrounded by fish and some slippery marine creatures. Check out the comical little octopus. In the same mosaic are the representations of less threatening native animals, birds, flowers and fruits, as well as cherubic faces in the corners. See also the dancing pigeons. Now back to the old part of the city through another route. On your way you can see the Madaba Mosque and then you get to the archaeological park. The archaeological park is a collection of many beautiful mosaics. Most of the mosaics of Transjordan date from the 1st century to the 8th century AD. Mosaics were used in many buildings to decorate walls, floors or ceilings, mostly employing motifs from everyday life, such as harvesting, hunting, fishing or just pastoral or mythological themes. Take a look at the Queen Ayola mosaic as it is the most impressive. Here you can also walk the old Roman road. Behind this site is the Mosaic School and just around the corner is the Madaba Visitor Center. Here you can get a free road map of Jordan. You can also use the toilets, which are free. Finally, you need to walk back a little bit to reach Hussein bin Ali Street. This street has many handicraft shops where you can buy souvenirs and copies of the mosaics you have just seen. Go towards the end of the street and then turn left for Madaba Art Gallery, where you can see local art projects and paintings. We hope that you've enjoyed our Madaba City tour video.